every year the National Women's History Project selects a unifying theme. This year's theme, honoring, honoring trailblazing women in labor and business, gives us the opportunity to honor women who have successfully challenged the role of women in both business and the paid labor force. The commission and its junior commissioners are a voice for women as advocates and partners in the mission to break that glass ceiling. For many years, the term women's work was used to segregate women, to hold women back, and limit women to certain fields and occupations. Lessons learned is that education is by far the single most important thing that a woman, all people, but women in particular, should take very seriously. Today, American women aren't just the majority of our population, they earn the majority of undergraduate degrees and master degrees. Nearly half of the law and medical degrees and earn 44% of degrees in business and management. Women are 47% of the American workforce. But they still have glass ceilings to break when it comes to the representation and leadership roles in business, labor, and government. That's why we celebrate Women's History Month and take the time to honor women who are filling these leadership roles. 2017 theme, honoring trailblazing women in labor and business by celebrating Bergen County women who are leaders in labor and business communities. Now therefore be proclaimed that I, James J. Tedesco III, executive of the County of Bergen in the state of New Jersey, do hereby designate March 2017 as Women's History Month. For me to stand here today as the chairwoman of the only female majority freeholder board in the state of New York. We stand here, this is not unprecedented in Bergen County. We stand on the shoulders of others like Connie Wagner and Bernadette McPherson and Julie O'Brien and Valerie Huddle and Liz Calabrese, all who made the path to getting here a whole lot easier. To the 2017 Bergen County History Month honorees, I say, Congratulations, and thank you for making a difference in this world.